If you were not entertained by the main event fight of UFC 296, Leon Edwards versus Colby Covington, there was a better fight going on in the stands last night between Sean Strickland and Drickus Duplessis. And in this video, I want to talk about that. What led to it, what caused it, and what are we finding out now? But before I begin, please consider a like, subscribe, trying to grow this channel. I'm trying to get to 2,000 by the end of the year. We're starting to slow down now, but we've grown like crazy. I was at 400 the start of the December. Now we're at 1,400. Can't thank you guys enough. And with that out of the way, let's get started. Now, how this beef starts is you got Drickus beats Robert Whitaker goes into a stare down with Israel Adesanya. I'm going way back to give you the full history. So, Drickus Duplessis is supposed to fight Israel Adesanya. Gets hurt, obviously. Within, I believe it was like a three week, four week turnaround they want the UFC wanted them to make. He says no. They give it to Sarn Strickland. Sarn Strickland becomes the middleweight champion of the world. And, as we're in this weird period where the UFC tried to justify giving it to Israel Adesanya. You had people like MMA Guru, me, and I believe even Lucas Tracy of all people, were pushing for Drickus Duplessis to get the next title shot because obviously he beat Robert Whitaker, who hasn't lost to anybody other than Israel since I believe 2015. So Drickus finally gets his title shot against Sean Strickland. And I'm going to be real with you. When I heard this fight, I, I thought of it was going to be a fun press conference. Not a fun press conference in mean-spirited. No, I thought they were going to play off each other. Little did I know, the seasonal press conference comes around, and Drickus Duplessis and Sean Strickland have one of the biggest beefs in middleweight history. And I know that sounds like a hyperbole, but it got so serious that Zahn Strickland, Mr. I don't believe in stare downs, looks aggressive in his stare down, actually like invites himself into it. So that gets me excited. Now, stuff was said. Drickus Duplessis, I would argue, said something just as fucked up as Colby did, but we all forget, we all give Drickus a pass because of how much of a terrible human being Colby is. But just know. I think if you make some make fun of somebody for being abused as a child, that is up there with saying that somebody's dad is in hell. I'm sorry, th those are two equal levels of fucked up. So, understandably, these two people are really pissed at each other. Sarn Strickland said some things about Drickus Duplessis that you probably couldn't say on old Twitter or any other sport other than the UFC. That's why it's the best sport in the world. And it was, it was a pretty good press conference. Get, gets me hyped for it. Now, Dana White owns his mistake, and he somehow sits Drickus Duplessis and Sean Strickland not even five feet away from each other. You got Sean Strickland right here, Gilbert Burns' family right here, and Drickus' entourage right here. Now... What was said is what I'm going to discuss in this video, but what we saw during the broadcast and on social media is that Drinkus Duplessis is saying something to Son Strickland, egging him on, and you see Son Strickland almost like, am I really going to do this? We don't know what's about to happen yet. Turns around, looks at Gilbert Burns' family, and he, you know, like carefully moves them away like hey hey kids can can you please just move out of the way you got brendan moreno looking all happy over there moves them out of the way and then proceeds to go psycho mode on drickus duplessis i'm talking elbows back of the head drickus duplessis looks like he's going in for a double leg i'm not sure what type of damage was done but they get pulled apart you see drickus duplessis is looking pretty pissed right now and you don't see son strickland but i imagine dude's not that happy and the question is, what happened? Now, I've heard everything from Drickus Duplessis was making fun of Son Strickland for being abused again. I, I don't think that's true. Because that's a bold move to do in a public scenario in front of children. Like, I, I, I listen, I don't think Drickus would say that in front of children. I, I don't think he's that bad of a human being. What I really think happened is Drickus said something to the effect of, you want to fight right now? Let's fight right now. 
like kind of like the Vanderlei Silva chill son in like let's go right now. Well now, stop. well now, you well now, stop. You are now, please stop. I can't let you get close. Can you hear my close? Son Strickland chooses to get closer, and this is backed up by Gilbert Burns' wife. I believe it's. Buena Burns, I'm sorry if I get that wrong, set, goes on Twitter, or X, or whatever the hell it's called, and kind of gives her side of the story, says, I don't like Son Strickland's ta trash talk, but I will say, Drickus said, let's fight right now, and Son Strickland gently moved my, me and my family out of the way, and that's how it popped off. Now, there's some people that are saying, what a stand-up family man, Son Strickland. You still attack somebody, but... If this is true, Drickus, wh why are we playing with fire here? I understand P Bro's probably intoxicated. I mean, we still got a month. Like, uh, may maybe he's, you know, chilling out with the boys and he sees Son Strickland, remembers the fun press conference. That's probably him and his coach just chilling right there. And they decide to throw some insults to Son Strickland's way. And I, I don't know about you, but personally, if I'm going to test anybody in the UFC... It goes, everybody else, Son Strickland and John Jones. The only other person that I would rather, like, fuck around and find out with would be John Jones. John Jones just might kill you. Strickland's not letting it slide. I mean, we're talking about the dude that not even a year ago went viral for saying that he dreams about killing somebody in the octagon. <laughs> like... That, that's the type of human being we're talking about here. And if you want to get more information, just watch his JRE podcast. The point I'm trying to make here is, yeah, Strickland's come a long way. Bro's still a psychopath. I, I, I don't understand why we're testing that. I mean, bro can, bro can go warm a scene at any moment if we test him too much. So when I hear Drickus Duplessis is inciting this, I'm not surprised. I'm not even, I'm not surprised at all. I, in fact, I'm happy, I'm happy Son Strickland wasn't strapped at that point. Now, a lot of people are saying that th this is hyping up a fight, and I'm going to be real with you. I don't think we needed any more hype. No, don't get me wrong. It does. But UFC 297 is not a card that I'm worried about. I think that's going to be a fun fight. And a lot of people are asking me, who do I think wins that fight? I'm going to be real with you. I'm, I'm not really sure. Because Son Strickland, it, it, Son Strickland is one of the most aggravating people to fight. That's what he looks like to me. When you watch his fight with Nazardine and Mamov, uh, Magomed, I th yeah, Magomedov, like, he looks like a very difficult person to get in close and strike with. Israel Adesanya wasn't able to outstrike Son Strickland. Now, I think Drickus has the tools to win this fight, and who knows, maybe mythical fighter oxygenated Drickus Duplessis can take him down to the ground and win the fight. But I think on paper, Son Strickland is going to keep him at a jab and a teep kick the entire fight. But that is calm and collected Strickland. I don't know what angry Strickland looks like. Like, I don't know whether to be excited or not, and it, I, I don't know, I really don't, because the one thing that was said at the press conference that I think somebody needs to check Drick, Drickus on is, Drickus says to Son Strickland, you beat nobody in your career, and you were given an opportunity to fight for the belt, and you won it. Drickus, you are in the exact same boat. Walking somebody down for five rounds is not a fluke win. Your TKO of Robert Whitaker is one of the flukiest flukes I have ever seen in middleweight history. All credit to you. Congratulations, you beat Robert Whitaker. You deserve a title shot. You and Son Strickland have identical careers. Let's talk about the people that Son Strickland fought. Jared Kenanier, Alex Pereira, Nazardine Imavov, Magomedov, I don't even know, I'm sorry. He has, a, he has such a basic name, that like, basic Dagestan, I'm just going to say Magomed. Fights him. Like, all of these people are still in the UFC, are champions, or are in a number one contender spot. Okay, 
Who has Drickus fought? Derek Brunson. Darren Till. Robert Whitaker. You tell me who has had an easier lineup. Drickus Duplessis or Son Strickland? I, on paper, Son Strickland wins this fight. But I think Drickus is doing a phenomenal job getting into his head. But I think... I think Strickland has the hardest style in the UFC to replicate, and that is one reason that he wins the fights that he does, because I don't I don't believe any type of training that Drickus will do will, prepare, will prepare him for Son Strickland unless he trains like Strickland, and nobody wants to do that. So in sort, I don't really have a prediction here. I think this is going to be a pick em fight. And if it's like a two-to-one favorite for either Strickland or Drickus, pick who pick who's going to get you paid, because this is a pick em fight if I've ever seen one. And I think that's the end of my rant. If you enjoy my content, please consider a like, subscribe, and, oh, announcement. So, we're not going to have any UFC events for the next four weeks, and that's really depressing. So, to alleviate some of that depression, I'm going to be doing daily content we're gonna have a tier list for every single ufc numbered card of the year into a tier list if that does well i'll do fight nights but i'm keeping at the numbered cards and to end off the year i plan on doing a near hour long mma iceberg video where i go through everything from the top of the iceberg to the greatest depths of nightmares that it's going to give me but I need time to make that, and frankly, I need better equipment to make that, because that's an hour-long video. And if that sounds good to you, hey, hit the bell icon, stay notified. With that out of the way, adios, guys.